So season one faith crisis is over, everybody. Uh, This was kind of an experiment because I wasn't exactly sure where it would go. Uh, We've done about 37 episodes, so this would be number 38. So what happened? Have I decided to leave the church or have I decided to stay in the church? Well, neither. (laughs) I, I, I haven't taken my name from the records of the church and completely stopped all activity. And you know what? I... I have to admit, I am not, I'm also not an all in, you know, active, faithful, believing member of the church either. And that's kind of hard to admit. Um, I had a lot of expectations and hopes for this podcast. Uh, Maybe a lot of you did too. And I hope I measured up to some of those. If I didn't, I'm really sorry. Let me know what worked for you or what didn't. Um, But here are some of the expectations. You know, I, I wanted, to build my faith, right? So I I tried to center a lot of the conversations around, you know, building faith and finding answers as much as I could. I I wanted to find reconciliation, right? With with the tough church history topics and and, uh, a lot of current church stuff and doctrine and policy and leadership. Uh, I wanted to, you know, ideally, right? I wanted to go sit in a sacrament meeting and feel comfortable, feel at peace, feel like like I'm doing the right thing exactly, and I feel authentic doing so. And then maybe one of the big ones is is I really wanted to find a connection to God. I wanted to somehow feel the love from my heavenly parents in Jesus. Maybe maybe some of that had to do with recognizing uh, some of their communication or how they love on me, right? Now, here's what happened. Now, I definitely had a faith-building experience, right? And I'm going to use a cheat sheet here so I can mention everybody that I had on the podcast. I I talked to Leo about doubt and navigating a faith crisis. I talked to Richard about going through a faith crisis while serving as a bishop. And and hopefully some of you guys remember these guys. These were way back in season one. Um, Anne building a relationship with her savior you know, while going through a 30 year faith crisis. And I've only been doing this a few years. So she, that episode was amazing. I'd recommend that one. Uh, Jacob and Dan about mindfully approaching a faith crisis and what that means exactly. Taylor uh, from Saints Unscripted about repentance and feeling love from God. Don about the lost 116 pages and also his conversion story, you know, leaving the church and then returning back to church. Brian on polygamy, Gaina Lynn about reframing faith crisis to faith adventure, (laughs) Tyler about the Book of Mormon, Terrell about his book, All Things New, Robin about religious trauma, Michelle about her and her husband's journey in their 10-year faith crisis, Danielle about Heavenly Mother, Jeff about connecting with God, Stephen Jones on the priesthood and temple ban, Dallas Jenkins and the chosen and Stephen Harper about church history. And so I check there, right? You know, I had amazing faith building conversations, experiences. And so in that regard, this podcast was so successful for me personally. And, and hopefully through some of those conversations, I hope they helped you, our viewers and our listeners, where, wherever you are. You know, and one of the big things also that I, I feel like I, I received from this season, right, is I was able to build, well, maybe recognize, I don't know, <laughs> um, I was able to start to recognize a connection to God and maybe start to build a connection or or start to cultivate a connection or understand a connection. I'm not exactly sure what verbiage to use on that. But, you know, I, I definitely can't deny that I felt his love throughout this process. Um, I definitely felt, you know, I definitely felt connection with my heavenly parents and Jesus. And, you know, even though I, I feel like that I'm, I'm not exactly an all-in, you know, faithful, believing member of the church right now, I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm on some sort of path. And I, and I don't think God is upset with that. 
I think my heavenly parents, you know, have, have me right where they want me. I feel like I did re- receive some reconciliation with some of those t- tough church history topics. But you know what? On a few others that I was mildly okay with, you know, actually kind of got more unstable, kind of started to freak me out more. And uh, that's sort of a plug for a future season. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I feel like I have a harder time wanting to go to church. Um you know, I, I feel like I, I grow increasingly unsatisfied with church and its leadership. Um, so I'm trying to grow in that aspect and learn and, and figure out what's best for me and how I can make, you know, the church and its leaders work for me and, and bringing me closer to Christ. But I do feel like my relationship is healthier with the church uh, in that, you know, my expectations have changed um, how I see the church and its purpose for me, uh, has changed. And so maybe I'm less likely to get hurt if, if it doesn't measure up to certain expectations. So maybe what I've done is I've just lowered those expectations. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, throughout this process in learning, you know, what the church is and the purpose of the church, I'm trying to just make that healthier for me and work for me. And, you know, I feel like, you know, I didn't mention this as a expectation, right, or a hope, but I feel like a huge thing that I've gained from this is tools and tools to help me move forward or move anywhere, you know, when I, when I, when I'm confronted with tough topics or when I'm confronted with, well, gosh, I haven't felt God forever or gosh, why, why can't I kneel down and pray and feel his love when I really need it? I'm also really curious about you. I didn't solve my faith crisis, and I'm sure I didn't solve yours, uh, but maybe some of these conversations that we had maybe helped. So let me know, for good or for bad. Uh, So what now? Gosh, that question's really stressful. The only things that I can really hold on to is, is, I think, starting to recognize that connection with heavenly parents and Jesus, you know? A lot of experiences that I've had over the past several months, right, has been telling me that I'm on this path, right, and that God's okay with that. My heavenly parents are okay with where I'm at right now, and I'm hopefully going to just try to continue to connect with God, connect with Jesus. I, I know this sounds so weird, and and probably right after this episode, I'm just going to run and go eat a bowl of cereal or something and then forget all about it. And so I'm not trying to say that I'm totally in in this process of heavy communication and connection and and striving to, but I think going through this this process for me has helped me cultivate that and try to recognize the love from heavenly parents and Jesus and the path that I'm on and and as well as the path for others that are close to me. And so And so if that was the only reason for me going through this and having this like faith crisis thing, then it's probably worth it. (laughs) So I'm just going to hang out here in the middle. Also sounds stressful. uh, I welcome anybody who wants to come join me. Uh, I talked earlier about some things that I'm still unsure about, unstable about, or some topics that are unreconciled or maybe unreconcilable. (laughs) And uh, we're going to do future seasons on those. So the next season you guys can look forward to, season two of the Saints Unscripted podcast will be about polygamy. And my friend Brian Hales is going to join me for every single episode. And it's not going to be, you know, like 40 episodes like we did for season one. It's just going to be a few episodes. Uh, You know, I I like to call it to mask the number of episodes. I like to call it a multi-episode season. Maybe that only means like seven or eight. Who knows? But I, I hope you join us there. We're going to talk about the the most, what we call controversial topics in polygamy. And so we're going to talk about Fanny Auger. We're going to talk about sexuality in Joseph's plural marriages. You know, the ages of the wives, Emma Smith's path, polyandry. And we might squeeze in a couple 
you know, bonus controversies. So I, I hope you join us for those. And, and so, uh, of course, if you have any ideas for future seasons or topics, subjects, guests to come on, please reach out to us and let us know. DM us through Facebook or Instagram. So like Leo said in the first episode, I think it was like way back, I think it was the first actual episode of the podcast. He said, doubt is like a hunger <laughs> and I'm still really hungry. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to keep giving this a try. And, and if you'd also like to give this a try with me, please feel free to uh, subscribe to us, follow us on, you know, wherever you find your podcasts. We'll keep posting there. We'll keep making future episodes and future seasons. And thank you for viewing. Oh, I almost said viewing. Thank you for viewing. <laughs> thank you for watching or listening uh, wherever you are at. Uh, and I'm I'm really excited f for what the future holds and and to have future seasons with you.